Welcome back trainers and we're going to be taking a look at Renewigus again because I was just having a lot of fun with this thing. It, it shot up to like rank 13 in the open Great League <laughs> after getting Shadow Claw. That's what one move can do for certain Pokemon. Now we're going to be pairing it up with Haxorus for a couple of games here. And of course Shadow Mawile. Look, we're just having a little fun. We're getting very comfortable with it. And we'll switch it up. We'll take it off. I know I keep using them all while, but it's the mascot and all. And we also have the Shadow Lapras joining us yet again. All right, folks. Now I got a little proposal here for you, okay? So it's about hitting that like button, okay? <laughs> if you do that already, I appreciate you. Go down with that energy, unfortunately, there. So what is it? Let's go. Um, and we do have Earthquake on the Haxors. Uh, you know, you may want to go with Brick Break for a little bit more coverage up against those steel types just to further your counter damage. But Earthquake does take him by the surprise, so we do have that. But uh, what I was gonna say is, if we can get this video to 2,000 likes, I mean, we get thousands of likes per video, so it's not asking too much, I will power up something absolutely insane that costs over 600,000 Stardust as a shadow. It's basically maxed out, so if you can do that, we'll do that, and uh, We'll get this ball rolling here. It's going to be ranked around 400 something. So it's definitely going to be struggling. And yeah, it should be pretty fun. So let's go, folks. Let's hit that 2000 marker. I mean, I'll do it. It's going to be that that steep of an investment that we're going to make. But uh, if you show me that you want it, then I have no problem at all making that thing there. Anyways, let's get into the battles here, folks. What do we got going on here? The Mawile. Yeah, this is easily, easily one of the best buffs or at least new move add-ons for this new season for any Pokemon. And that's Mawile with Fairy Wind. You know, you can go normal Mawile, that's perfectly fine. But it's just that Shadow hits like a truck when it comes to those charge moves. And I know I'm probably being a little biased, but I'm sure you can agree with me as well that this is one of the better buffs of this season, absolutely. All right, anyways, we got Rhaenyricus out here. What's going on? Enjoyed it. That's why I'm using it again. The last video didn't do too well for whatever reason. I don't know if it's like the upload times. It tells me that's when people are ready to watch in the peak. So I uploaded then, but I have to probably just try it again because I wanted it to get more traction because it's just a really cool Pokemon. All right, so we're up against the Talon Flame here. We do resist it. We didn't let that first Flame Charge go and letting the next one go as well. And we're going to go ahead and Shadow Claw down. What is going to be in the back? It is an Azumarill. So we're going to need to get to two Shadow Claws. <laughs> shadow Balls. <laughs> we're going to need to get to a lot more Shadow Claws, right? Like tons more. Uh, but with the continuous Shadow Claw damage, we're going to be able to take them out with the next Shadow Ball here. They're not going to be able to get to an Ice Beam. And there we go. Looking good. See, Shadow Ball is such a great move, especially if you're getting stabbed. And then paired up with Shadow Claw, it's just an amazing combination there. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to the next battle. We're going to be seeing a Vigoroth with that counter damage doing a ton. Highly doubt they're going to be going for a Bulldoze, but it's still going to be an option on the table that we need to look out for. But we're going to go ahead and go for the Iron Head right off the bat here. And they're letting it go and calling it. Play rough. Ooh, they probably would have survived with a couple HP. So they're going for that Body Slam. The next one will KO. It is resisted, but it's still damage that is going to be able to take us out. And down we go. Gonna bring in the Haxorus. That's why we didn't shield. We just want to start getting that energy on this thing here. And they're bringing in a Frostlass. Something confusion here. Something could be... <laughs> so they swap uh, out. And I go for Earthquake. Like, wow. So a Dragon Claw would have been totally good. Tons of damage already. And I still have two shields here. And this is another Pokemon that Rhaenyricus is going to completely wall. Well, not completely because those mud bombs are actually doing a decent amount of damage. So much so that it's not allowing you to farm it down completely at just capping out at 100 energy and just continuously going. You're going to want to maybe throw a couple of those sand tombs, maybe a sand tomb and then just farm down. But anyways, we're going to be seeing the Frostlass coming back into battle without a shield. I mean, hey. It's all good. We all make mistakes. It happens. Moving on to the next one here. And I'm pretty sure they thought I had Fire Fang. No, they're smarter than that. They know it's different now. <laughs> Once before, this would have been such a fun and exciting lead for us. And now it is kind of like, holy crap, it has been flipped completely here. So play rough. Still doing a decent amount. All right. I mean, it's <laughs> still putting up a fight up against the Skarmory here. They're letting it go, knowing that they're going to survive and get off another one, and they will be able to outpace me here. 
if I do not shield. Yep, and I'm just going to let it go. We're just going to farm down with, I do believe, Rhaenyragus at this point here. And we will be able to take them down once with the lag every single time. And down it goes, okay? Sometimes when that does happen, it freezes for a second. And then, you know, magically they got the energy for their hardest hitting charge move. And I'm like, whoa, I wasn't even able to farm during that time when it's frozen. What's going on here? So they have a Galarian Stun Fisk, and we're going for another Sand Tomb. So lowering that defense, it's going to be guaranteed to lower their defense every single time here. So it's pretty nice. They're going for Earthquake. We do survive. Swapping into our Hack Source, they got a Toxicroak again in the back. It's very weird. All of a sudden, all these Toxicroaks. When I put the Hack Source in, we're getting Nergus on the team. It's weird. So they let the Dragon Claw go. Don't know if we have somebody who's trying to two-shield flex. But I'm certainly not going to. I'm like, hey, you go ahead and keep your shields. I'll use all of mine. So they let it go. And I'm thinking, all right, well, I pretty much won this game. I, I don't know what's really going on here. But uh, Haxorce putting in that work with the counter. And uh, we're going to go ahead and counter down the two shield flexor. Let's get it. All right. Moving on to a good game still. Hey, if that's what you want to do. Moving on to our next opponent. Moat with an Azumarill with our Mawwow here. Uh, you know, it's fine. Hydro Pump is going to be the death of us. So we kind of need to... I don't think we're going to shield up. I think we just call a player up anyways. We're just going to go ahead and let it go here. Haxorus and Runirigus don't really want to see an Azumar. But they're swapping into their Galarian Stun Fisk. And Runirigus is going to have a little fun right about now. So, you know, they could bait with the Rock Slide, which is not very effective. If they do, that's going to suck. I fell for it a couple of times. I think I... Yep, there you go. <laughs> Baited me. All right, so Earthquake is not going to KO. It's still not enough to take us out here. Renirigus, it could take a hit. It could take a hit decently, as long as it's not like some sort of crazy, super effective damage from a shadow or just a straight good attack. You'll be okay. They survive because I get greedy. What I should have done was throw the Sand Tomb sooner so we would have done more Shadow Claw damage, therefore taking them out sooner, but would have, could have, should have. This is nice screwed up. All right. <laughs> We go Shadow Ball, and they have one shield left. I swap into Lapras, and they got a good old Machamp. What do you think? Think we're going to be able to pull this one off? Absolutely. Maybe. Maybe not. All right. Uh, let's see what happens here. So this will definitely take us out. Machamp is going to just annihilate us. Bring it in Mawile to take out the Machamp. And no, we lose. I just wanted to take out the Machamp with our Mawile. And I <laughs> back out. <laughs> eh, throw a little fit. All right, next battle. <laughs> Another Fire Fang. Good bleed we could have had, but they don't know. They swap into Toxicroak, and we're going to go ahead and bring in Runirigus. And, well, we're letting all of this go. Eventually, those Mud Bombs are going to be able to take you out because they do do a decent amount of damage here as they're just neutral damage. Uh, but we're lowering the defense. One more, we will survive. Coming out of this with pretty low health, but that's okay. As long as we win this matchup without having to use a shield, we're okay. But we're very low here, so we're just going to go straight for the Shadow Ball. Don't think we're making any sort of sand tomb up against this. No, unfortunately not. Farming us out of here. Bringing in the Lapras, and now they have seen my whole team. Now, check this out. I do believe, maybe, this might be the Flash Cannon one. I mean, go figure. Uh, I mean, it's still... Yeah, Brave Bird would have... Yep, there you go, Flash. Yep, all right. Okay, that surprised me there. So we're going to go ahead and swap into our Maul while, while the Lapras is still holding on to energy. Almost to a Skull Bash. We have to keep that in mind. Don't think it's really going to be useful at this point as far as the Skull Bash. It's the Surf that we want going up against this Skarmory. So we shield up that. At this point, what we want to do is shield up everything that the Azumarill is going to throw at us. It doesn't really matter. Mawile could take out the Skarmory so long as we get to an Iron Head. We'll be looking perfectly fine here. And of course, using our next shield, knowing it's going to be an Ice Beam, I don't care. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Building up a little bit of extra energy. We we had to to win this matchup here. Technically, maybe we didn't. Nah, no, we did. Lapras doesn't have enough health to take the bubbles. And we're going for an Iron Head and taking a win up against a Skarmory here. Not the way I would like it, like the Fire Fang way, but it's still good enough. Next battle, we're met with a Venusaur, so the Sludge Bomb. Okay, it's been a while. Actually, it's been a while since I went up against a regular Venusaur and gotten hit by a Sludge Bomb with the Mawile. So let's go ahead and see how much this does. I'm going to go ahead and let it go. We are part Fairy, but it doesn't really matter because we're also Steel, and it says not very effective, but you already know all that damage is crazy. So going for the Iron Head, that's a that's good. We took that quite nicely. A Frenzy Plan will take us out, though, so it's not... It's kind of like making it so you can have three shields, you know, shield up the first one, but we're deciding to let it go and farm down with the Lapras. And they've used one shield, they're down one, we've got two, and they're bringing in a Sableye. Look at this, look at this, watch this, folks. 
Do you see all those shadow claws that just snuck through? This is what I'm dealing with. So I'm not, I'm not trying to go on about it. You already all know what it is. I don't want to bring the good vibes down here. But my gosh, what the heck is going on? Like it hasn't been like this since the new season has started here and there. But today was absolutely horrible. It's like it was like they're stepping on a pedal or something. You know how those people used to do that back in like the old Xbox days, PlayStation days, you know, the lag switch or something like that. That's what it felt like. It's very weird. All right. Anyways, we are we're looking great here up against the Galarian. Well, regular Stunfisk, actually, this time around. But again, we can't escape those mud bombs. Just <laughs> when we find a decent matchup, it's like, well, we got mud bombs. So we're just going to kind of slowly wear you down here. So we're going to go straight for the Shadow Wall. We do not take them out. They survive with a colorful HP. That's perfectly fine. We're letting it go and then taking them out. And we survive with one HP ourselves. <laughs> Let's get it. Next battle. Do believe we got about a couple more here. We're met with the Mew. So I do have to worry about Flame Charge. Okay, so that's definitely not going to one-shot, but pretty much two more Shadow Claws and we're out of here. Well, maybe it might. Uh, but they actually have a Surf. Still would have done a decent amount. Could have potentially let it go. But they're going to be double shielding their Mew here, which is a little bit of an annoying situation. So we're going to go ahead and let this go. Getting to the play rough here. And I'm thinking, yep, yep, they're going to double shield farm me down. Yep, that's, that's not looking great. So I go ahead and immediately swap just so they can get a couple of more Shadow Claws worth of farm. Don't know if it's going to be worth locking myself in here. Thought they might hit me with a Wild Charge. Another freaking Surf, folks. Oh, oh, okay. I bet you they were laughing. I guarantee you they were laughing. Okay, funny guy over here. <laughs> All right, just, <laughs> just joking. And they're bringing in a Vigoroth. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking, okay, well, we got Runirigus. We'll get off this Surf here because Shadow Ball is not going to be very effective. Shadow Claw as well. Well, we're just, just going to go down with the ship. And now we'll bring it in. They swap. They got an Altaria in the back. Okay, we're going to have to play some maneuvering if we want to win this. Mawile has no health. What I need to do is I need to catch this first. Ha! Nope, nope. It's too late. Too late. So I'll still stay here. I do catch, though, right about now. But it's just too little too late at this point. All right, I needed to catch the first one and preserve the health the first time around. Build up to two Shadow Balls, take them out, then take out the Vigoroth. At this point, no. But it's okay. We're still going to put up a little bit of fight, and I do uh, lose there. Good game. Another Skarmory in the lead. I better change this back to freaking Fire Fang. And they are swapping into a Flygon, expecting a Fire Fang. Nah, nah, nah. Not this time. We got Fairy Wind, my friend. So we go for Iron Head, which would have been plenty. Not KOing, but still doing a ton. And they're going for Earthquake. Doesn't Flygon have Earth Power? I do believe that's what's that? It's Community Day move, right? So again, you know, some people just don't have those moves. And I always appreciate newer players who don't have the ideal moves to being in Go Battle League just to occupy it so we have people to battle. Thank you for watching, trainers. I'll be catching you all next time. Take care. Hey! So you're finally here! <laughs> Fantastic!